Right, so it is dark again, but I thought I'd do a relatively simple planting tonight, so um, let's get on with it. Right, uh, so one of the obvious problems that is going to turn up when you are planting trees continuously in a limited space that already has quite a lot of trees in, is that eventually you're going to run out of canopy space, or at least you're going to run out of canopy space in a place that you can easily keep an eye on and that's not going to interfere with anything else. I haven't run out of that yet. I still have a few places I'm going to plant, but it is always worthwhile to start thinking about your subcanopy years in advance, because if you can get it going, it's going to reduce the wind um, drying around your mature plants and help them sort of thrive and eventually become the massive plants that will take over the canopy, or in the case of the one that today's planting is going to be the subcanopy of, probably eventually an emergent. Um, so, today's planting is a Dracaena studentry, so a friend of mine very kindly let me have a few cuttings of her giant Dracaena today. Um, and seeing as it was dark, I didn't have time to put in the plants that I intended to do today, so I'll probably be doing that tomorrow. Um, and so a truncheon of Dracaena studentry is going in instead. So this is one of the very large Dracaenas. Uh, I have already put one in near the Kapok. Um, and it is a very tree-like Dracaena, although sometimes in parts of Northern Province you can see them growing, what I think it's Dracaena studentry, growing very much as a ground cover up very steep, wet slopes. In with that are going some more of the Dietes eridoides, which is the same as went in with the previous Dracaena um, studentry. <laughs> I'm also putting in another Alicameroni, which is also in with the Dracaena studentry, but whereas with the previous one I broke that native streak, because all three of those previous plants are native, um, and went with Calanco Fetchenkoi, this time I'm going with Calanco Sex Angularis, which does, as far as I know, naturally enter Zambia in the south. So we've got from the south, from the north, from all over, and from the far east of Zambia, all in one planting. Um, so yeah, quite a simple planting tonight, uh, but that should be it for tonight. I will see you tomorrow. Um, at some point the review will go up, I will see when. Um, thank you for watching, and please tune in again next time.